The results are in and the ballots are counted, but nearly half of America were hoping for a different result. It is time for us to come together as one united people. It's time. While Trump is celebrating his victory, hundreds of UNT students came out to protest the results. So as a woman, it scares me because we're bringing a rapist and a racist and a xenophobic, Islamophobic, fear-mongering person into the most crucial office in this nation. Rather than spreading hateful ideology about Donald Trump and his supporters, Stephanie Plancarte has a different kind of message. I don't know, I'm just kind of spreading love because that's all we need right now. And I put even Trump supporters because I don't really care who you voted for at this point. I just kind of want everybody to love each other and stop with the hate. Donald Trump has pledged to deport over 11 million illegal immigrants within his first two years in office. Build that wall, build that wall, build that wall, build that wall. Build that wall. As a daughter of two immigrants, Stephanie is worried about the days to come. I don't want to think about like all my friends being deported. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Despite the fact that students can't change the results of the election, they've maintained a message of hope and unity. I feel like if we all can come together towards one cause, which is unity, hope and peace. I think that's something that we, that's needed in this nation, in this school, in this country right now. For NTTV News, I'm Jordan James.